Hey, it's Diego with Aim Shoot Develop, and I'm talking about one of my favorite compact point and shoots. It is the Nikon Light Touch AF. This is a fantastic point and shoot camera that I actually really like so much, I got multiples of. So, this is my go to giving out to people, say, hand. It's a really simple, straightforward camera, point and shoot, done. Really ridiculous image output, really good 3.5 uh, lens with the 28 millimeters to get nice and wide. So this is kind of the shotgun, really sharp images of film photography because you kind of can't miss in a sense. I'm going to be comparing it to uh, similar cameras would be the Olympus Stylus Epic which is here with the sharper 2.8 lens and also the Olympus Infinity Stylus with the 3.5 lens. So we're going to get right into the review. I will be showing images taken on those cameras so you kind of have a visual aid of what's going on. There will be a timestamp in the description that's going to cut straight to the images. I'm just going to be talking about the cameras really quick and then to the images, so stay tuned. Okay, so some of the pros and cons of this camera that I really like. I'm going to start with the pros. So pros is the ergonomics. You can put your thumb here, if taking a picture, and index finger here, and it just sits nice and natural. Your thumb does fit here with this little groove on the back, and then the shutter button fits nice and easy. So this feels really good on the hands. Uh, to someone who doesn't really know photography or things, the wide lens will take pretty much everything. You can't miss unless you get too close, but most people usually don't get too close. So when I hand this off, I actually get some really good images. I do like how it's really simple in the buttons. So it's just on off, really simple. The metering, which is really good. It's actually very sharp. And if you half press, it'll tell you if it needs to do a flash. So if I half press, it says, okay, it needs flash. But if there's enough light, if I'm putting it out the window here, it'll tell you, okay, no flash is going to go off, it'll fill the exposure, which is really nice. Um, obviously for someone, if they don't know photography, they're not going to pay attention to it, you know, point and shoot, but if you like uh, taking your time with your shots and composing, it's just another little uh, thing that you can add to your tool bag to kind of help you further your experience with this point and shoot. It does have uh, a self-timer button, so if you push down the self-timer, push down, it'll give you a countdown. It's really straightforward. It actually has a double uh, self-timer so it'll take one picture, advance the film, take another picture. It has two little clocks in the thing which is really simple, very cool and uh, was a way back in the day for people to get double prints when you actually used to print them out. Uh, most of my stuff actually just gets digital or I scan them myself but uh, if you do take that route it's a really simple way to get multiples. Other than that this thing is straightforward. It has a tripod mount and it just is really good comparable size. I think it weighs in with battery and film around seven ounces, give or take, while the stylus, Infinity Stylus Epic fills in around six ounces. The only difference between these, I would say between the three, is that this one feels awkward to hold on this side considering the lens is on that side, and this one's actually bulkier than this. So I feel like this is right in between in the sense of uh, ergonomics, which you get from the Infinity Stylus and uh, sharp wide lens that you get from the Stylus Epic. It literally fits perfectly in between. I have seen these Infinity Styluses getting a lot of praise recently and the price actually going up to about over $100, which is about the price of this camera. So uh, the Stylus Epic is a great camera, but I actually don't take it out as much as I probably should considering these have kind of taken over in my camera bag. I think they're great. I would say the only con that I could think of is that this little plastic piece actually uh, wears over time. The more you take it out, just the little bumps and scrapes end up showing on the plastic, which is kind of unfortunate. Obviously, I'm not a huge like camera purist. I don't mind taking my cameras out and shooting them, but... Um, it kind of just something to keep in mind. I'm going to go show the photo examples now and you can make uh, an assumption for yourself of whether you wanted to pick this up or if you already own it, talk about the reasons that you like it down below. So yeah, we're going to get right to it. I've had these rolls of Portra 400 for a long while. I was actually really stoked to finally get them developed. You're going to see really early on that the image output on this camera is actually ridiculous. It almost mirrors some high-end DSLRs or even most photography tries to mimic this look. I actually got complimented by the wedding photographer saying it was cool to shoot film. I really like this camera for its small pocketable size, pretty much had it in my pocket the whole time. I was the best man at the wedding so it was cool to take some candid shots as the night was progressing. 
I think the best part about this camera or one of the things that I felt really comfortable doing was just ordering prints straight off the bat without having to look at the roll. I knew this was going to produce some really good output. This is one of the cameras that I actually purchased and I didn't have to test, but I felt really confident in it to where I knew it was worthwhile to get the prints. I knew they were going to come out really sharp and it did not disappoint. So that's pretty much the video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you like this kind of content. I have tons of things just like this. So yeah, feel free to look around. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to comment down below or reach out on Instagram. Aim Shoot developed the same name as the YouTube channel. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Keep shooting film. Take care. Peace.